In our second video about multiple comparisons, what we're looking at is the idea of too much error. So what I'm saying is, is that we have our three groups, A, B, and C. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna look at A and B, I'm gonna look at A and C, and I'm gonna look at B and C. And what we're interested in doing is looking to see if each of these pairs are the same or different. So is A the same as B or are they different? And we're gonna repeat. And we're gonna repeat. Okay, so that's the idea. All right, now typically when we're making the argument of same or different, we go and we use a confidence interval. And that's a 95% confidence interval. But here's the problem. If I use a 95% here, a 95% here, and a 95% here in StatCrunch, I'm going to have 5% error, 5% error, 5% error. So that is going to be basically a total, basically a 15% error. That's bad. We don't want to have that much overall error. Okay. So what we're going to do is that's why I started this off by saying too much error. Our solution to making sure that I only have a total of 5% is if I want a total of 5%, then I've got to raise up all of these individually. Okay. Well, if I call it 99, 99, and 99, I'm going to have 3% error. So I can actually have a little bit more wiggle room. Okay. This is what's called the Bonferroni correction. So what the Bonferroni says, I think it's actually two R's is it basically says that we're gonna take our 5% error and we're gonna divide it by the number of comparisons we're gonna make. So as you can see, we're gonna do one, two, three comparisons. So I'm gonna divide 5% by three. And if we do that, we get 1.67%, okay? What that is basically saying is, to get an overall of 5%, I actually can do 100 take away 1.67. So I really want to do 98.3. 98.3 and 98.3. And the reason why I want 98.3 each time is 1.7 plus 1.7 plus 1.7 is a total of 5. Okay. This reverse engineering is what's called the Bonferroni. If I had more groups, remember when I have four groups, I have six pairs, then I'd want that overall to still be five, but to spread it out among it, I would have to do five divided by six. Okay, so for the most part, we're always just going to do three groups and three pairs, but if I wanted to do four groups with six pairs, I would do 5% divided by six and then subtract it out. All right, I hope that helps.